four, three, two. <laughs> what am I counting down to? I don't know. I look good far away. And today's teacup theme is dogs. Dogs. Because what's better than dogs? Nothing. I mean, we're gonna tell you the story of when Terry and I hated each other. What's up friends? Thank you for checking back into my channel. I'm sorry that I sound so weird when I do YouTube intros. I just suck at them, so we're gonna go right into this. A couple weeks ago, Terry and I did a video called Sip Some Tea, where we did a teapot review, and we just kind of talked this whole time while this thing blew in our teapot. Grew? Bloom. It was like blooming. It was a flower. We just had a blast doing it, mm -hmm. and we have been dancing together for a long time and we do have a joint together Instagram page, but we've never told the story about when we weren't friends. Yeah, we were kind of petty towards each other. We were a little mean. But yeah, we weren't friends. We weren't friends for a really long time, actually. The rivals. Can you even imagine a world where we weren't best friends? I feel like I have to like mentally sit down and just get ready because like we're at the bottom of this mountain of a story that we're about to tell. Buckle up, Buttercup. We're gonna tell you guys a story. We're gonna go on a journey together. A, uh, a long story. I'm sorry. It's we'll seeming like... It's okay, it makes us look zen. I guess we'll just, I guess we'll just get right into this. The story time. Okay. So, um, I guess, so we met at... Did we met at the skating rink first? Or did we meet at dance race? Dance. Definitely dance. Yeah, I feel like I saw you at the skating rink first. No way! Yeah, I, know. I definitely know the exact first time that I like saw you and it was that dance. Well, I would okay throwback. I was ugly like real ugly. I don't think she noticed me <laughs> Like overnight Terry was that kid that like walked into class one day and all of a sudden everyone was like what the? It was the studio I was originally at. I'm not gonna say a name. I feel like but on the side here. Just like tell me more It was it was not good at all. Uh, it was kind of the joke studio oh, of the town you. like they tried to do a lot of out. Do I need to edit this like, out? Are we throwing this much shade right now? No, oh, I'm so down. Like, I hope she finds this. Like, I didn't leave on good terms. Hello, boo boo. I'm coming for you. Oh, you anyway. See how she gets me involved in these things? Like, I have to back her up now. At said friend at the skating rink because I was there every Tuesday. I don't remember this. Day. If you live in a town where there is nothing to do, Something that everyone does when you're in high school is go to the skating rink. Okay, but this wasn't like any skating rink. Okay, there was two skating rinks. That's true. And you either went to the like the nice oh, one. Oh nice bougie one, like where all like the nice kids went that had a little bit of money. Or like, you went to the one that we went to where they played like Migos Booty War. It was T Pain and, and like no way, one actually Nikki. skated. You just it was danced. just a lot of twerking in the middle, I'm gonna be honest. And nacho cheese everywhere. And, and it was like a teen club. I've gotta say, like that's partially like why I was fat and ugly because like I ate so much pizza there. And they also had unlimited pizza night on Tuesday. This we would hang out there, and I, I, okay, continue. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, seeing. but I was there every Tuesday and Thursday for, like, probably about a year, because you were there for, like, half a year. And I saw her a lot, but once again, just didn't notice me, because, like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry! Keep it in DL like that, because she's a little shady. Coming in and snatching my best friend like that. Okay, so that's why I hated her. So you and her were friends before? Yeah, me and her were like best friends. Like, we went to a, on a trip to like Myrtle Beach together. Like, we actually did a lot of stuff. We would go to movies, we would go I to the mall. I was like, your beach buddy. <laughs> yeah, you were the second one. No, you were like the third beach buddy. This is also a reveal? Damn. <laughs> this is so much tea. This is I awesome. Need to, I need to wash it down. I need to tight. And then she came in and just like instantly started trying to be her best friend. So I was just kind of like, boy, what? No, mm -mm, not happening, boo boo. Said person and invited me to dance effects. She said that she took break dancing classes and she's going to start taking a hip hop and a jazz. And I already took dance classes, and like I said, like, I was on really, really bad terms there, like, did not like the main instructor, she was not teaching very well, like, she didn't know what she was doing, so I was ready to leave, so I was like, yeah, totally. She talked me into it, so I was like, okay, awesome, and so I wanted to doing the first week, and so that's how I wound up at Dance Fix. I'm so right. just kind of shook that you didn't know, like, you were not my first beach buddy. Oh, did you hear that? 
gross. So I was at Dance Effects um, because I did competitive cheerleading. Oh my gosh, I was a cheerleader. Why does everyone do that when you say you were a cheerleader? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to. Like, I'm your best friend. It's literally my job. So I did. I came from a cheerleading background, and I got hurt tumbling, and my shoulder. Okay, it makes gross sounds now. Like, I wish we could get this on audio. Like, I think you can. Shh. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm this close to it. <laughs> my blade and my rib cage rub together now, and I can't tumble. So I was oh like, what am I gonna do? Well, I didn't know what I was gonna do because I couldn't cheer anymore, and that had been such a big part of my life. So I decided, well, I didn't even decide. They were telling me, well, you can't tumble anymore, and it's not really safe for you to be jumping on your hands the way that you were. So maybe you could try dancing because it's a lot of the same things that you loved about cheer, but it's not as tumble heavy or acro heavy. I wanted to try dancing and then my little sister, Audie, had signed up um, for dance classes for break dance and hip hop. Mm -hmm. And she had been watching all these YouTubers who were dancers and she really wanted to get into it. So my mom just signed me up too because I couldn't cheer anymore. And we walked in to dance effects the same day. And she was already in there, Terry was already in there, oh and she was next to... Me and Audie were actually friends, and like we always talked about Devin. Definitely threw a little shade. It was a little spooky. How did I not know any of this? Oh, it this is a reveal. I'm finding out so many details like, about this story. We didn't like each other for two years, and this, you just look like a bitch when you walk in, honestly. She has Why is it? I have the worst rest okay, of Okay, I face. do too. Like, every time I walk in, until like someone makes a joke and I smile, everyone's like... Like, why are you mad? And I'm like... This That's is my, my face. face. Oh, look! We didn't even plan oh. that! We literally, we do this all the time. We're opposite, I don't know if you can tell, but... So I walk in, and our mutual friend that we keep saying she, we'll call her... Patricia? Patricia? Patricia. Okay. Like, oh, Patricia. We'll call this mutual friend of ours... Patricia. Patricia. So I walk in, and I see Patricia <clears throat> and Terry, and they both give me one of these. Just like kind of continued our conversation like we just kind of like acknowledged her existence and then like looked away because like I knew that they were friends because as I said like I had seen her at the skating rink so I was just kind of like oh wait no 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 I wasn't friends with her yet I thought, I've definitely seen y'all talk we had like I mean like as like when we were getting nachos at the rink like I knew yeah. of her but we, we were not friends talk. no yeah she no, was, I was there not because of him. Audie not Patricia. I have no friends here, like, I'd done musical theater and cheer, and never done dancing, and these kids have danced since they were like a fetus. Okay, we would walk past each other and give each other one of these. One of us would do something good, the other one had to do it. Oh yeah, like if she did a double turn, I had to do a triple. Terry's a lot better than me, and she's always been a lot better than me. I feel like so, that's a I feel like you were better than me. Why again? So we're in the same company, we're in the same hip-hop classes, um, Fast forward to... Oh wait, no. Important fact about this time. Her parents saw Terry and Patricia hang out, and they saw me and Patricia hang out, so they just assumed everyone in Patricia wanted to hang out. So they knew Devin, they saw her all the time, like... They thought that we were friends. I don't know why, but they did. Also, Patricia was telling me a lot of shade about Terry. Yeah, saying, and she was doing the same thing to me with the you. Saying, like, Terry didn't like me, but then going to Terry. Which but was she was true! The she was the reason that we didn't like each other. We were both friends with that person, and she was coming in between us. We didn't have a friendship through all that. And then we're two years in, and Terry's parents think that we're BFF, and we don't like each other. We were going to the Pulse convention. Our studio director was pulling together a ton of dancers from our home studio for everyone to go to Orlando and go to this convention. Terry's parents offered me a free place to stay. Yeah. And sold it to me very differently than it was, I'll say. When it was originally pitched to me, it was like they had an extra room in this house that they were staying at. And we ended up being in a hotel room right with them. They come up to me and they're like, hey, Terry, we already talked to her and we just wanted to extend an offer and say, you know, we're going to the same place and, and you could drive with us and stay with us. My exact reaction was, you invited her. <laughs> we proceed to go through what was one of the most awkward car rides of my entire life. We didn't talk at like, all. Have you ever been on the bus with someone 
and you like don't want them to talk to you and you don't want to talk to them so you just like put headphones on and stare straight ahead that's what we did for like eight hours like my phone died and i literally refused to make eye contact with their stuff all of the other dance teams and like dance people i knew were already roomed up like also forgot to mention that her parents are the type of people that like to stop yeah they're every, the most annoying people to travel with every 30 minutes i hate it we go on this long road trip and we're both frustrated but Throughout the, like, sixth hour, we start to, like, acknowledge that we're both frustrated yeah. at not each other, but the drivers of this road trip. Nothing ever bonds two people faster than the hatred of a third party. We still had our issues, but we were at least making jokes and, like, at least kind of throwing some side shade to each other. Yeah. And we started to laugh about the situation on the car ride. One, like, big thing that helped me get close to you, I don't know if I ever told you this. First night we were there, I had my solo. It wasn't, like, where I had a huge fam supporting me. And This like, was the first night we were there. Yeah, it was the very first night, so, like, not everyone was there yet, even from our team. Like we said, like, there was a big group, but it was the first night. It was the competition night, so... <coughs> Let me die. Okay. We had classes the next day, and that's when most people were coming down. She was like, no, you're going to do great. Like, you're going to be amazing. Because I was literally, like, sitting there freaking out because I was watching all like, these amazing solos. She was there, like, cheering me on, and she was, like, the loudest in the crowd. And so, like, after that, I was like, oh, okay, like, she obviously isn't that bad of a person. She isn't that bad of a person. Thanks, bud. And, God like, gave you that. And, like, it was cool because, like, we were taking a lot of pictures and stuff. So, like... I we were like goofing point, around. We were also like stretching in the back of the yeah. stage and stuff. At and that like point, we around. just didn't have anything else to do other than the fact like we had to acknowledge. It was, yeah, so like, it was we almost like we were forced to be nice to each other. So we're both really stressed and we're both frustrated, all the same people. We just went through this competition and this long road trip together. Yeah. Um, we get to the end of day two and we're both just exhausted. And this is the moment that I started to be like, oh, she's not a terrible person. That night, it's like 10.30, and I'm out on the phone uh, talking to my boyfriend, relaying kind of the day and what had happened, telling him about all the girls I saw crying in the bathroom because that's how stressful these types of events are. I didn't so, know you were going to put this in there, and I was like, <laughs> literally on my drive over here, I was thinking about this story. <laughs> this is still the most memorable fact about that whole entire convention. Like... Then we're not gonna be able to tell it. So like day two dance convention Pulse Orlando. I go into the bathroom. These conventions are normally held at like a Marriott or some huge hotel, so it's like, like a Beau Rivage or something that has huge auditorium rooms, several of them, and large bathrooms. The specific one had like the hall that you walk down, and it had stalls on both sides and the back. So it was like a lot, and it was. Also, like, marble walls and a marble ceiling, and... What she's saying uh, is, it echoed. Are we in focus? Yeah. Oh, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> I go into the bathroom, and I'm in the stall, and I'm changing, getting ready for another class. And there's no one in the bathroom at this time, okay? And I purposely did this to change right before... I went, like, left the class a little early to go change, because, because I knew I couldn't after. And she so I'm going to change, and... I had just ran in the bathroom an hour ago and there was like four girls crying at the counter and I'm like, oh my god, thank god there's no one in here, I can just change really fast. I hear these footsteps, super fast. And as I said, everything echoes. I guess she thought that I was not in there. And <laughs> when I tell you, I don't know how this girl didn't get lifted off to space. <laughs> By the sheer force of which <laughs> would just give out of her booty hole. So loud. It was like explosive. It and then she just runs out. <laughs> and I died. I just stood there laughing like what do you even do? I was yeah. just crying laughing. Um, she literally runs into the room straight to me, taps me on the shoulder, and whispers it to me like this, as w I'm in a circle of our dance. Well, it's so funny. <laughs> so yeah, that was the side note story. Sorry, had to throw that in there. So, that was a side note story to the story time. I like how as we get further and further in the story, we're like leaning closer, like it's getting... <laughs> yeah, it's getting more and more intense. Do you guys feel like it's getting intense yet? Do you feel the pressure? <laughs> So we, uh, we were, we're bonding over this day two or whatever, yeah. and this is the moment that I know Terry and I will, could be friends, okay? 
So I'm on the phone with my boyfriend. I'm telling him about this day. I'm telling him about this, you know, mystery fart girl. Terry opens the hotel door and walks out, skinny little Terry in her little white t-shirt. And she goes, I made you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's what made you want to be friends with me? Yes! Did you not know that? Yeah. I made this whole sandwich. This I also got your protein powder and your milk. Like I had like these little to-go things of milk that I can make because protein shakes with. And she goes, I have it set up for you for in the morning. It's in the cooler. I did protein shakes at that time too. So like I was already doing it for me. So I didn't really It was care. so nice. And I was literally like, she goes back inside and I was like, Chris, Terry, Terry Bryan just came out and offered me a sandwich. I got off the phone. So we decided to like go out to the pool. Just talk about life and stuff that night. And then we went and played around a pool. And then... And we started talking about Patricia. We did. We started talking about Patricia. That Patricia was the problem. Patricia is pinning and preventing. Yeah. What well, could have been a glorious friendship. Valid. Like, she was getting, like, really good perks from both sides. Like, she had to go I mean, yeah. and stuff with me and, like... It made sense had why Patricia stuff. didn't want us to be friends, but... Yeah. Not cool with Patricia. Yeah, not You're basically, like, okay, connecting all the dots of a lot of different situations that we won't really go yeah. far into or anything, but a lot started to make sense about Terry, me, and Patricia. Not a very good friend to either one of us. Really, after yeah, that convention, we were like We were best friends, yeah. Every single day we hung out after yeah. that convention. And then we were roommates for a while. We were roommates mm -hmm. for like a year. Yeah. Yeah, like roughly a year. There were so many roommate adventures. Like that would literally Honestly. be an entire another story. I, Honestly, like we were great roommates. We yeah. did all the chores together. Like we woke up and got pretty together every morning. It was ideally yeah. like what you, it the was best great. friend roommate situation. It was just together like every day. Yeah, even now. It's still together every day. Woo! Woot. Yeah, we're like, I dance every single day, just best friend in and out. We'll have to do an update oh, on this. Oh, that was like years. such, yeah, I feel like that was such a long, in a short sum, we became best friends over a dance convention. But yeah, and like finding out that that's Patricia just not, was. Pa that Patricia was a trifling heifer. Yeah, we both need to like change and ready to go. Yeah, because we're going to be late for hip hop club. Thank you so much for sitting through our story time yeah. of how we became best friends. Um, to see updates of how we are as best friends now, check out our hashtag or our Instagram, which is Brian and Dennis. And we both have individual Instagrams that I'll link mm -hmm. down below too. I feel like we're forgetting to say something important. But there's gotta be like a moral to this story. Like we have to have like a sum up. Your enemies will be your friends. Honestly, and, uh, don't judge someone off of what other people tell you is another thing that I've found out. That's fair. You have to talk to someone to actually know them. Find out who they are. Like, don't just judge someone. That's our sum up. I feel like that's a pretty good sum that's up. That's a good sum up. Okay, yeah, that's where we'll sum up the story of how Brian and Dennis became friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I put out new videos here every Wednesday, What's Up Wednesdays, and I put new music out on my music channel every single Monday. And just, yeah, thank you guys so much. I promise I'll be more interesting next <laughs> week and I'll take you on a trip. But this was one that actually a lot of people had asked us to tell a story of how we became best friends. Yeah. And sorry, it's not a super cute story of, oh my God, we were on cheer squad together and we just became best friends. No, and we, we just hated loved each other, each other the one time you did. We actually no, hated we each other. We were actually enemies, but like. But we love each other now. Yeah, you're the best, you. Can't imagine my life without no. you. Y'all don't ever see her because on all my Bye Bye Blondie, she's I'm house dogs. I'll see you guys back here next Wednesday for another What's Up Wednesday. Um, thank you, Terry, for jumping up my story <laughs> time. And I will have more adventures for you guys soon. I love you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. What was this? It was like a waving jazz hand. Ooh, like oh my god, I'm done. So. Bye. <laughs>